Hi Capricorn, welcome to my channel. My name is Kim. I'm doing a past life reading for April 2018 and this is um, for singles only and this is uh, based on one of your past lives and how it's going to affect you for April. It is only a reading for a small majority of people, possibly one or two people, but it is a message coming through that I need to get out there uh, and pass on. So I hope it resonates with you if you've stopped by for some guidance. Um, first card I pulled from the past life car, uh, cards is spouse. <coughs> Excuse me. So this is telling me that um, maybe you drew this card because you were married or in a relationship with the person that you um, that you were with before in this incarnation. Maybe you're not together now, but maybe it's telling you that um, the person that... Um, you shared a relationship with before in a past life um, is someone that you are about to meet if you're single um, it could be um, in some cases um, lovers do reunite across um, centuries and they have this undying bond of true love so if you're uh, lucky enough to find that person again it's a beautiful feeling and it's a feeling of familiar familiarity and um, comfort with this person so it's usually referred to as a soulmate so um, maybe this is a soulmate connection but it's strongly telling me that um, you're a male in the past and you were married here and maybe um, there was um, someone else that you had a chemistry with if this is not the person that you were married to but there was a strong magnetic attraction with this person so um, for some, I'm feeling like you were married, but there was a strong attraction with somebody else. But um, it's telling me that you were a male in the past and um, you were very uh, good looking. Um, maybe there was an invitation of some call, a sort of that you or you were following someone else. Maybe your heart was set on somebody. But it's telling me that you were happy. You're always charming and attractive back then maybe it's that you were younger you looked younger than your age or maybe you had a child to your marriage um, but there was definitely um, obstacles involved here maybe you were a little immature back then in the past but there's definitely um, maybe uh, you had a lot of blockages in your relationship if you were seeking someone else and you had chemistry with someone else but um, Maybe, maybe this caused new obstacles or small obstacles for you. Uh, but there was some beautiful um, invitations maybe to a mountainous area where you used to escape or go and visit this other person that you had the chemistry with. Now, I have picked the tree as the underlying theme of the reading from the Lenormand deck, and that is about ancestors and past um, life connections. And there is a woman um, that was... Uh, uncertain or they're very um, clouded in their judgment and this was someone that you were in a relationship with or married with maybe um, your, your partner that you were married to had a lot of um, mental anxiety and this has caused the obstacles in your relationship that's um, why you went and found somebody else but maybe you didn't feel like it was the right thing to do to leave them in that that life but I feel this person is coming back into your life now I feel like it is the person that you were married to I'm just going to pull some more cards from the Lenormand deck just to um, get some more clarification on this but um, maybe you felt lonely in your relationship due to this illness that your partner had um, but this was something fresh and new with the other person now this definitely was someone that you were passionate about but just the um, the mental anxiety or addictions that this person had um, yeah made you go out and to find um, someone else this is a deep soulmate connection so possibly it might be the person that you were seeing on the side um, Capricorn because um, that is definitely a deep soulmate connection there um, is a woman that stole your heart Maybe there was some confusion over drinking with the, the past partner, but I do have the scythe. And this is about implementing 
and taking action but it's also uh, cutting out whether this person drank or not maybe it is the wife that's coming back through but maybe they need to cut the drinking <coughs> excuse me now I've picked two cards from the animal tarot deck and this is the eight of spring it's the bee and it's telling me that um, there's some wonderful opportunities that are being presented to you and it's going to be all at once so this may feel very stressful on your part but you just got to remember that you're going to be grateful for all the blessings that's coming from the universe you have the major arcana card here which is the sun now this is um, number 19 it is very significant in the reading it is the bluebird and the bluebird to me is the bluebird of happiness you've got the sun in the background here you've got the daffodils blooming so it's all gold it's all vitality it's all um, success and you've got the butterfly here which is transformation so maybe this partner that's coming back into your life is transforming um, they're not the person that they used to be in that past but whatever you're planning uh, is telling you it's going to work out well there's a lot of happiness that's coming and prosperity um, maybe you're going to re some, receive some recognition for all your accomplishments um, maybe with your talents and skills um, but they're saying that you richly deserve whatever is coming for you so um, I do feel like it is your partner from the marriage um, definitely you have success coming and wonderful opportunities now I just want to pull um, a crystal card just to um, for a healing crystal that you could carry on your person um, this is going to help heal any issues from the past and help you move forward in the relationship today but it's someone that you admired um, this person was kind loving and gentle but they had maybe uh, an addiction to alcohol and the relationship was cut um, needed to be cut back then but there was definitely maybe a child involved or you were young younger than this person maybe um, but there's definitely some new beginnings coming now I've pulled the card of beryl this is the blue green yellow red and white uh, tints in the stone uh, in the crystal and it's transparent or translucent it's it comes in all sizes and it's easily obtained and this is about scrying power truth and vision so um, you've drawn this card today to signify the way forward so this is going to help you move forward with clearer uh, intentions it's going to be a lot easier this time around you'll have a clear sense of purpose um, when this person enters your life again and this is going to allow you to move forward now for healing uh, the crystal beryl is effective in all areas of the body but it's particularly useful in um, the process of elimination and stimulation with the circulatory system and pulmonary system system so maybe this person had heart problems in the past and they died of a heart attack uh, from drinking possibly um, but it's going to help sustain all the major internal organs it facilitates rest and alleviates feelings of stress and the an inability to cope this time around so maybe this is a crystal that the partner should be carrying around on them but it's going to if it's for you it's just going to help you relieve um, all the, the problems from the past and help you move forward clearly in this lifetime with someone that you're very passionate about but um, also with the chemistry card this could be in chemistry that you had and the strong magnetic attraction with your partner uh, with your wife or husband um, usually this is a reading for many so there's no genders here but um, I strongly feel that I'm speaking to the males out there um, so this could have been a strong chemistry that you had with your partner but just um, with the alcohol and everything maybe she died of a heart attack or um, some sort of addiction but that ended a relationship in some way so I hope hope this has helped you Capricorn and it's going to help you for April if any issues do arise for you uh, I strongly recommend that you check out your moon and rising signs as well if this doesn't resonate with you but if it does resonate with your situation just uh, take the reading into um, consideration and uh, see how it plays out for you I'll be happy to um, hear any comments um, that you have and um, I will try to endeavor to get back to as many people as I can just a little bit busy with readings and I'm trying to fit this in the best I can 
Take care now. Bye.